It's not about the evidence. It's not about the evidence. Now, I started a debate with a fellow named Paul Baird on British Radio. I was on the phone. He was in the, in the studio there. And that's what I started my opening statement, that it wasn't about the evidence. And this is how we came back. Well, I'd like actually, if I may, to go back to the example that Sai gave of the uh, use of evidence in terms of uh, proving the resurrection. It's a conversation I've had um, with uh, another Christian actually last night, and we were sort of discussing um, just what would it take to convince an atheist that the resurrection had happened? And I said to him, well, if we had affidavits from the Roman guards standing at the foot of the cross that they'd seen the resurrection take place, they'd seen the body taken down, they'd seen the body taken to the grave, they'd stayed by the body and they'd actually seen the stone being rolled away and Jesus come out and they'd stayed with Jesus all through the 40 days and watched him ascend to heaven. And that was documented and that was authenticated. Would an atheist accept it? And I said, no. And that, that, that is really the key. Evidence is not the issue. That's an atheist. If he had affidavits from the Roman guards, he still wouldn't believe it. Why not? Because he has a presupposition that God doesn't exist. And we're wasting our time giving these people evidence. I was blown away when he said that. The host said to me, what do you think about that? I said, I agree with everything he said. It's not about the evidence. Of course, later on, this guy, you know, this guy will always contradict himself. He'll start arguing evidence. But when it comes right down to it, it's not about the evidence.